This video was made possible thanks to my amazing patrons over at Patreon. If you wish to support my work and wish to see me continue making more of these types of videos, then please consider supporting me there. My videos can also be found on Odyssey and BitChute, so feel free to give me a follow there if you want. So, a couple months back, while I was browsing my favorite questionable meme app, I stumbled upon a few posts mentioning this one game called Subnautica. I'd heard of it before, but didn't really know much about it other than it being some sort of ocean simulator. <laughs> Boy, I was wrong. I didn't sign up for a free trial of Thalasmophobia, thank you. Cause this game... <sighs> So, like anybody who plays Subnautica for the first time, I was aware of the existence of the dreaded Reaper Leviathan fish, seeing how it's basically all over promotional art of this game. I just didn't know where it would spawn. Hmm, gotta love that feeling of constant looming dread. I mean, pff, who needs to go to the Kelp Force or the Grassy Plateau anyway? <laughs> Not me. Exploration, you say? Um, sounds more like sudden death to me. Don't mind me, I'm just staying in my nice, safe shallows. So yeah, I did shit my pants every time I entered a new area. Also, it didn't exactly help that in the first zone of this game, you have this fucking swimming nuke that will chase you down if you get too close to it. Fuck you, Crashfish. Also, fun fact, I was terrified of going past the kelp forest during the early game because of these boys. You know, the ones that actually aren't all that bad compared to some of the other scarier creatures in this game. Speaking of which, fuck the sharks in this game. Holy shit. I don't care if you're a sand shark or a bone shark. If you get in my path, say hello to my 1000 degree knife. You see that? Yes? Whoops, not anymore because you're fucking dead. You assault me while I'm trying to collect nah. materials? Death. You assault my sea moth because I happen to be in your territory? <laughs> Too bad. Death. You dare enter my peripheral vision despite not attacking me? Um, well, uh, you might attack me in the future, so death. By the time I finally managed to get to the island where you need to go in the game for the plot to continue, that's when I first heard him. You know, him. I was very, very fortunate to have my boyfriend supervise me as I played, because otherwise I probably would have run into him at a... And uh, not so fun point in the game. Bro, what am I doing here? What is this? Ugh, stupid bee. Get out of here. Get clapped on. What is this? <laughs> Still, I didn't dare doing anything else beyond just slowly peeking over the edge of the island's beach area. The, you know, the area where it goes into a ravine. Because I was still that shit scared he would come for me. And that's when I learned of console command cheats. Thank you, Invisibility Command, for alleviating my anxiety. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> funny Reaper can't touch me, haha, <laughs> I'm no longer scared. So, yeah, I ended up playing this game with the invisibility, no energy waste, and oxygen commands enabled. Which basically made me invincible, so I didn't have to be scared of anything. Which, yeah, it does take away a major part of the horror experience, but to be fair, the exploration part is what captivated me most and what made me want to play this game in the first place. And enjoying the scenery is not exactly gonna be easy if you're just fearing for your life the entire time. Afraid some reaper boy is gonna show up any minute. Also, shout out for Alan for guiding me to all the key areas I had to go to and prevent me from wandering into death territory. Warning, entering ecological death zone. So, eventually I got to the inactive lava zone bit. For those who don't know, that's a pretty late game. And... well, I decided to delete my save file and start all over. This time without cheats. And you know why? Because this time I knew what to expect. I knew where to find the scary boys, I knew which areas were safe, and most important of all, I knew where the ideal spot for a base was. Some people play the game for the storyline. Nice. You know what I play it for? Making a giant fish tower. Finding the perfect mushroom pad to build my base on. And ultimately accidentally erasing half of the flora out of existence because the game is a glitchy mess and be like, oh, oh, your base is touching this pad? Whoops, gone forever. I also discovered you could mod Subnautica. Hmm. 
Say hello to my egg collection. Also, look, it's Bailey and Funch. Lamp. Pretty lamp. Perfect. Stinky legs be gone. Couch. What's this? An actual map? Blushing. On, off, on, off, on. Also, I don't want to shit on the devs, because Subnautica is a very pretty game. But holy shit, this game is so buggy. Also, this one time I attempted to kill a reaper using my prawn suit because I wanted to rid the planet of reapers. And yeah, he kind of might have clipped me through the map while I was destroying his face, which usually causes you to spawn back in the life pod after you exceed 8 kilometers of falling down. Me? Uh, nah. First, it was black. All fine. Then a slight green hue. Okay, strange. Wait, red? There's not supposed to be... Oh fuck, no, not the lava, not the lava. Also, I have an announcement to make. The Seamoth is objectively the best vehicle in this game. Cyclops, way too big, way too slow, way too ugly. I mean, look at this beautiful fish-shaped beta design that they cooked in favor of what we got. Prawn suit, I got clipped underneath a jelly shroom with that fucking thing. Steam off. Quite a surprise. Wonderful. Beautiful. Lovely idea. Nice one. Clever. Very nice concept that. This is one of my favorites. <laughs> I like that idea very much. And now that I'm coming near the end of this video, how about I give you guys a nice little tour of both of my bases? Because, yes, I did decide to make another one. Welcome to my base. Okay, so technically this is the main entrance but i you rarely use it because you usually come in by seamoth and then you have like this nice little main room nice benches with tree and mushrooms and shrubs very cute then we have the basement with all resources crafter stuff then you have a back door if you want to get out quickly hello it's my jelly rays they're so cute. And then I have my little garden here. And I think there's- <gasps> There's my cuttlefish. And another cuttlefish. Then, if we go up from here, there's the bedroom. Nice bed with plushies and a cuttlefish toy thing. And then here you have a nice little outlook over the garden. And then over here we have my museum. Unfortunately, there's not really that many eggs in the game. Otherwise, I could have displayed more, but I think these are all the eggs that there are in the game. I think the only one I'm missing that is the lava lizard. Then, if we head this way, there is my- Oh, hello, cuttlefish. Here we have my ginormous fish tower that has turned itself into a quarantine, basically, because I accidentally placed a fish in there that was contaminated. Whoops. Then over here, we have- my scanner room, and the moon pool. So yeah, that's my main base. And here we have my second base. Oh, I love this environment. It looks so fucking gorgeous. In this base, I've done a little bit more work with the lights. Look at that. Look at that blue light. And here's more Jelly Ray. Also, hello, there he is. There's my pet. Then here we have the main entrance. More jelly ray. Over here we have more museum. I'm still filling up this stuff. This is supposed to be like a whole museum with all the items in the game. Down here you have the crafting room. And then you have a back door here. Hello. No bad. Also apologies for the slow frame rate. My PC is not the best at recording game footage. And then, the main attraction of my base. Look at this. Look at that skull. I'm still working on the garden, but I'm so happy with how it's turning out. And the jelly ray. Look at that. Yes, jelly ray, you're very pretty. But yeah, and then over here we have the scanner room. And then over here, 
<gasps> wow. And a nice little couch. Nice warm light. Looking out over my garden. And up here we have the bedroom. Still kind of plain. Still want to put up some pictures. And again, this here is just so I can easily get in and out of my base without getting killed by my dog. Hello! Come say hi to the people. Yes? Yay! Ding. Isn't he cool? Such a good boy. Either way, Subnautica, all in all, really fun game if you're into exploration, horror, collecting, or anything along those lines. There's plenty of commands you can put in to tailor the game experience to your own needs. For example, like if you're shit scared like me, then you can just enable invisibility command and you're fine. Plus, there's also just a plethora of cool mods you can add to the base game to make it even more fun. Also, if you feel this game isn't your cup of tea, then please know that we have Hoverfish. And Hoverfish would like some friends. Please play Subnautica for Hoverfish. Look at him. He's so cute. Hey, thanks a lot for watching all the way to the end. If you kept up with my Twitter, you might have noticed that my mental health has taken quite a dip while I was making this video, so hence the rather long wait time. <sighs> Family environment and hormonal meds be doing that sort of shit to you. Either way, really sorry about that. Luckily, feeling a lot better now, so no worries. Also, I'm wanting to try out a new type of video format for my next video, uh, so not sure if it's gonna turn out well, but... I at least want to give it a try. Just want to try and see if I can find a way to produce videos quicker, yet also keep them like creatively interesting. So yeah, that concludes my small life update for you all. Uh, now let's get on to the special patron mentions, which include Methichev, Matt, Romanov, and Fox Robinson Hill. Thank you guys very much. I, I really appreciate your support. Let me move